after the first week, they rejected the bells, the, my bell. So I, I know I knew I, I got to do time. Yep. Okay. So I started all, all that. The detachments my, too. Yeah, all that in my mind in the streets and yep. me in here. Nah, all that shit got to go. I literally started to isolate myself. I stopped, stopped calling outside all right. every day. Stopped all of this, all of that. And after a few months, <laughs> every prison, every new prison that used to come in, it used to be like, yo, you, you lit. You going. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, wow. you got it on lock. You lit. This song came out. This is song that I never put out. Big Boy's Neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. He has arrived. Anuel is in the neighborhood. Thank you for coming into the neighborhood, brother, and showing up. Thank you for having me. I'm going to tell you straight up, man. If I hear one of them chains click, you got to give it to us. <laughs> One. Is I'm that, about to give you all of them. Man. Nah, nah, nah. Because when you say I'm about to give you all of them, that sound fake. That sound like you're not gonna really do it. You know, nah, but I, I wore this one right here, man, in celebration of the new album that's coming as well. Hey. Right, tell you know what I'm saying? But man, yeah. how how has it been, bro? As far as like you getting ready to gear back up once again, bro? You ain't it's been all good, been and it ain't new. Nah, nah, it's been good. It's, it's a it's a race. You know, we're trying to do greatness, always working. Hey man, when mm -hmm. you when you come with a legends never die, how does that get that title compared to what we already know? Like like how does that get that? This album, the sequel to it, this is the second album. The first one I did it after taking like almost two years, like a break. I took like a year and a half mm -hmm. break, and it was something that I started to see. I started to look all these legends that inspired me, and mm -hmm. this, and then like Kobe Jordan, and I just started to redo. All this, all the legend, the most legendary moments, yeah, you know, and that's how the 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 concept of the album and it was so big that I just had to do the second one, keep going with it. Hey man, and yeah. when you say you had to do a second one and, and keep going with it, we see still that there's a lot of legends. We done lost legends, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But when you say legends never die, that means a lot. And then also, man, when it comes to also just what you do and the genre and how much you put into the game as well, people will also give you that title. You know what I'm saying? Do Man. do you wear that title or do you not not think about the legendary status that you've already right accomplished now, in your yeah, career? Yeah, right now I don't even I don't even see myself like that. Like, I I only got like in the main like in the in the public eye I only have like 6 years career, a 6 year career. Six but you know what's the trip so, about that? When we think I, about in the public eye, right? Yeah. And there's some people that can say, "Oh man, you know, know there's a blow up." I don't but, even know how much it's been. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When people say, "Oh man, it could be overnight." I be like, and that's what I say. I say, "Man, that's a long ass night." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it take a lot to build what you see in the public. And there's sometimes when we could take a look at your body of music, right? And you'll say, "Okay, well that's what you guys know." Yeah. But you don't know <laughs> all the other stuff that I've had, you know, because there's things that hit my radar. Right. But then there's also so much music. And when even when you look at Legends Never Die and if it is like over 30 tracks, that's a lot of music. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I would And the reason why I asked on well is because I would have brought out I would have been like, man, let me give them 10. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, then, yeah, then my yeah. next album would have been like, here's another 10. Yeah, yeah. Why why give us 33? <laughs> 30. And I'm not talking about like 33 as far as tracks, but I'm not talking about just the features. Like I'm talking about like full material. Why? Mm -hmm. I think music has come to a point that if you look at it, it's, not, it's nothing like how it used to be. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays, you look at the numbers you look, it's some crazy numbers if you look if you look up how many songs is being dropped each Friday, each Thursday. Yeah, man. They're like crazy numbers. Like that's why nowadays I just drop a song every Friday. I just studied the game and I was like, how I get on top of it? I'm gonna just drop a song every Friday. Why? Cause time is running so fast now, the business is moving different. Yeah, man. You hey, know? Hey, Charts hey, is moving different too. And so it's how crazy. do I stay on top? How do I stay on top when if the song if I drop a legend song and everybody everybody liking it, <laughs> everybody liking it and listening to it, and it's shouting, but at the same time, competition dropping songs every every week too. Right. You, you, you feel me? Right. So yeah, the only it, way to stay on top is not is to stay give on them more on the market. Monday neck. Hey man, and it's crazy because I remember when it used to be like, oh, it's New Music Tuesday or such and such album comes out. Now, yeah, you'll wake up, man. New like we woke up and we week. got Nas and Twenty One Savage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now it's yeah. just like, yeah, people are really yeah. putting music out, man. Yeah. But it's good that you have that mentality and you have that much good music. 
as opposed to not, not recognizing that the game is going down. Because you, you see in this business, man, you here today, There's gone tonight. a lot tonight. of big artists. Yeah. yeah. Legi- a lot of big legendary artists right now. And they're like in, the, in their prime. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way to do it right now, to stay on top. That's why I'm doing it like that. How the only way I, I like, how do I start the way? How do I how do I start the wave after being one year gone, mm-hmm. almost a year gone, right? Almost two years gone. How do I start the wave again with so many big artists in the way? Yeah, right now, right? And that's what we say so too. I, well, we say, man, I want to drop a song every Friday, right? Every week, so I so I so I fire, I get fired up, but I don't want to I don't want to throw half of the album before mm. I, before dropping it. That's why I got 33, 33 songs. Mm. Hey, man, and we do see where people get like. People, it's quick. People forget it's quick. Really, like you here today, you, gone man. tonight. Yeah. Like even when the new album come out, you on you on December tenth. December 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 ninth. So December tenth, people say, "Man, where the new album at?" Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, man, I just hit y'all with thirty three of them. Yeah, like y'all want the new album the next day? Yeah, yeah, straight yeah. Up. But but, but you, it's because it's, it, music is moving so fast and competition. Man, is, I yeah. really want some of your jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, it, he got this sound. It's like when you take psychology. It's like Pavlov when the bell would ring, yeah, the yeah, dog yeah, would get yeah. like salivate. <laughs> every every time I hear it, hear his jewelry, I'm thinking about how bad I'm doing. Oh, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right. I hear his jewelry and I'm like, fuck, what am I right, doing? Right. Like, five chains on his <laughs> you neck. See me like, you see me like this, I'm like... This ain't me, dressed down today. Nah, you see me like... Nah, nah, okay. of course not. Nah, you see me like this, it's because, for real, my... I'm always been like this because my, my inspiration and music, everything. I'm like hip-hop in Spanish. I'm right. the hip-hop coach in Spanish. I've never... My inspiration was, I used to see... Bro, I used to see... even Like, I, I'm not even... I'm, I'm so... I'm so hip-hop in Spanish that... My inspiration from even the name of my label was Pac. Imagine yeah. he's not even from my my time. Right, I'm right. Not, I'm not from his time. You, you I, like mm-hmm. I was born in the, in the '92. Yeah. So that's crazy. I used though. to see. I used to see Ross. Ross was the first one to sign me. You know, nobody in the Spanish industry even like they didn't even consider me back then. It was Rick Ross, the first one to sign me with Spiff TV. And, and the first ones to open up the doors in the music business for me. Hey, Amen. So is that's why I be like you see me and I'm really like the hip hop coach in Spanish. Let me so. take let me take you back to like the beginnings as well. You know what did did you grow up with music in your household? I, I know yeah, pops was yeah. in the game. Yeah, pops was in the game. My 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 pops used to be Sony's president so in Puerto Rico. Do you think that's really? easier for you yeah. or that's harder? Nah, when your pops it, is it in? was harder. Yeah, since I, yeah, <laughs> since I nah, my my dad lost his job too when I was like 10, 11 years old. I don't even remember the exact year I was. I was it. I was a young So it wasn't like pops can put you on because nah, that was like, yeah. I didn't live none of that. My my older brothers lived that. Damn. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So do you grow up with music in your household? Yeah, still, yeah. I still remember. Yo, I still remember. You know Mark Anthony. He's like yes. the, mm-hmm. one of the biggest Latin uh, legends. So I used to listen to one of his biggest hit, hits is Contra la Corriente, like to, to, like, to this day. And, and I used to remember this. Like It was an album called like that. I used to remember this whole album being played every single day in the house before coming out, before dropping. Mm-hmm. And I used to be, I used to get mad too because it was salsa. So I didn't used to like salsa. And like see, that's that. what I was going to say. My dad used to put salsa, salsa, salsa. That was like, oh my God. That's what I was going to say. Where did that start at? Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't used to understand. You know, when you finish a song, you want to listen to it. Listen yeah. to it. Listen, you, you listen to it, mix and master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> again and again. When I'm little, I didn't even used to understand that. So I used to get mad when he used to put my gun thing again, 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 again. I was like, I didn't understand. Now that I'm a, I'm a grown up. So now, I so when you when you have different music in your household, and especially if it's more cultural, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you think at one point this is the music you're going to do, or you already know, like ah? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I did, at, at that point, I didn't even think music. I was too young. I'm right. telling you, I was too young. I was too. I was too little. I didn't even think about what I was going to do. Really like, though. Man. Yeah. So yeah. when do you come from just listening to it at the house? To actually, what what was your first love when it came to hip hop? When it came to hip hop, like what's your introduction to that? Nah, my introduction to hip hop, it was the same. Like it was music in my house, so it was not just salsa. It was gotcha, Sony. Gotcha, you gotcha, feel me? It gotcha. was all around. So I used to know every, who, who 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 like everybody used to listen to back then. At that time, like when I was a kid. Everybody used to like. I used to. I used to see Diddy. I used to see like they're over there in Puerto Rico. The artists that used to reach over there, uh, reach to 
Puerto Rico, like globally, globally, Fat Joe, mm-hmm. like. Is it crazy that you grow Wayne, up and Drake, you start working with people like, like my, that too? Yeah, yeah, like my inspir- like that's the way, that's the way I started with the with the Spanish trap music. I, I was the first Latin artist to start doing Spanish trap, like really taking it serious, like a genre. Like every song was trap music. Not nobody used to do that. Everybody, even famous producers, used to tell me, "You tripping? What is you doing, my like? What is you doing, my brother? Like nobody on that. Nobody doing everybody on reggaeton." Yeah. So I started. I I was like. I don't How know. do you I, not listen to what people think? Exactly. Like, like, man, this yeah, is this this is the way, but this is what's happening right now. How I'm gonna listen to them when all the Spanish community back then? And we talking about 15 years ago. I'm 30, so we talking about 15 years ago, 14 years ago, 12 years ago. How I'm not? How I'm gonna like? How I'm gonna listen to them, bro? When all the Spanish community back then, reggaeton artists was trying to literally be on the same level as the hip hop culture mm-hmm. and the pop culture, English music. Back then, that Yan- I'm talking about Daddy Yankee, Don Omar, Tego, Wisin Yandel. They used to be at war with themselves trying to make this reggaeton blow up right. to what it is now, and that's why it is. That's why it is what it is now too. Like, yeah, yeah, you got me and you got Bad Bunny, of course, but it's because they paved the way easy. Like, yeah. not not easy. They pay, We've had it more easy because they paved the way. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, how, like, how I'm going how I'm to listen to them? Because, yeah, yeah, it was inspirational to some type of, to some type of level because I do reggaeton, right? Mm-hmm. But my main, my main music is, is, is hip hop, right? So, but back then, how, like, I used to see Wayne number one artist in the whole world. Used to, yeah. It was hip hop. Used to rap about the streets where I used to live. You feel me back then? So I used to be like, "How do how do I do this? How do there's got to be a way to do be the Spanish artist, be the number one artist in the world? Is is it pos- even possible that a Spanish artist could be number one artist in the world? Right. That's how how it started. That's how everything started. Because I used to see Wayne, and I used to be like, if he number one in the world. So what if I start doing what he's doing in Spanish little by little? How do you? How are you so young and, and believe that? He brought out Nicki Minaj and Drake too. He mm-hmm. was Wayne was big like in Puerto Rico. He was really big like nobody even talked English and he was big. I'm telling you, he was he was the man. And like globally, we all used to see. I don't know number wise in that moment back then when he yeah the man. Carter Four Carter like he was number one in the world. Like I don't. Nobody could tell me nothing else. He brought Nicki Minaj, Drake paved the way for the future too. For that, you feel me? Like at the same time, Hov and, and and Kanye was dropping an album together. He still was, he still was was looking untouchable. You feel me? Like so, I started to really, I started to follow follow up with what they was doing, what Ross was doing, and I was more in the streets. So I used mm-hmm. to, I I always wanted to maintain my essence and not just like copy nobody. I yeah. was just use the inspiration and absorb. But whatever good I could absorb out of each one of them, and that's how I started getting inspiration from from Wayne. I jumped to Drake, even to Future, then to Young Thug, from Ross, like all of them put in together, like all of them together. And little by little, I started to evolve, and I and I started, like I, como lo dices con diablo, como digo eso en inglés que lo perfeccioné. I perfected it, yeah, in Spanish. And hold on, man. Now you think you're Puerto Rican? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's my homeboy Jose, no, man. No, that's, that's, Jose, yeah, yeah, that's my. Nah, he Jose. got the biggest <laughs> Spanish well, name too. Give him a change. Give him a change. Give me mine first, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me mine first. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, man, I can make something with you." You know what I'm saying? He, he, nah, like, nah, he was like, "Nah." I, <laughs> I, you see me talk English, but sometimes I'm not certain nah, words. No, you holding I don't it know. down. Yeah, yeah. some words I don't know. It's just that my mom, she's. Puerto Rican, white, right? But she from Milwaukee. She a right white girl from Milwaukee. What? And, and my dad is Puerto Rican, but he's black Puerto Rican that he don't even know English. I, he now he knows. He didn't know back then. Right. When they meet up together, he shows. How that my, happened? Yeah, I don't know. He shows <laughs> my. They all pointing he, that stuff. This. He shows my. Yeah, yeah. Some some caveman type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like hell yeah. yeah. My 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 mom literally used to talk just English and my dad just Spanish. But because of my mom, my, my grandmother. My grandmama, she used to know Spanish. She used to know both a little bit, so it was. That's crazy, you know, bro. Little by little, my mom just talks Spanish. How now. did they meet? Like where? Well, until she gets mad, she start. Oh yeah, there she go. Yeah, the English. <laughs> How did they meet though, man? <laughs> they meet. They met in Puerto Rico. And where where it was? But it in was Puerto in Puerto Rico. Because oh, okay. remember, but the family still 
it, it still was Puerto Rican, but it was living oh, okay, in the gotcha. U.S. So one of them trips going to Puerto Rico, my dad used to, this is how we got into the biz, music industry. He used to play the, how do you say that? Guitar. The bass, oh, like bajo. Bass. The bass, the, the bass wow. right? Mm -hmm. The bass for Hector Lavoe. He used oh, yeah. to be the biggest wow. legend in salsa before Mike Anthony. Like Even oh. people nowadays say, nah, Mike Anthony's Mike Anthony because... Hector is not because Hector passed away. So was it kind of in the bloodline? Because if you ask Mark Anthony, he'll probably tell you not. Hector is legend. He mm -hmm. was the biggest legend. He did the movie Hector was it, Lavoe. Mark was Anthony it kind of in the bloodline? Yeah, that's, for you. That's what without I'm, knowing. Look at it. That's how they used to be around Hector Lavoe. Then he used to be around La Fania, Celia Cruz, like the oh, biggest. Wow. He used to he used to play the the bass for. How did he them. feel about and you in hip hop? He loved it. Oh, okay, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. He loved it. Did he bro. ever tell you don't get in the business? Because with Pops being fired from the business and seeing the nah, other he side always, of it. He always like, now that I'm growing up, I, like he always you could always tell like he, he used to be he used to worry a lot. Cause you know this game is not like it's not yeah, the man. cleanest, the nicest game now. Um, mm -hmm. I could imagine once you when you see I have a son, so you could you could imagine your son growing up and yeah. maybe you like he wanna rap and you're like ah, nah, you like you, gotta, you don't, uh, you you don't gotta, want yeah. this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like uh, You gotta start you gotta start putting up with all this you know? So yeah, I could imagine, but he always held it down. He always supported me. He always he was always trying to keep me out out of the street. Is Pop still here with us now? Yeah. Oh, that's He's dope. So he he now. get oh. I, yeah, I trusted the wrong person. I and I ended up having a lot of problems in, in, in my internal circle, mm -hmm. right? And thank God, Pop's still here, bro. I heard that. Yeah. Thank God he's still here. He, Does he ever jump on with you with his bass? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah he got to lay back now. Nah, nah. He's done it now. He probably business, like, F that. Nah, he want to nah, be, be on the God, tour. Nah, I tell him you Man, already know. Nah, he, he on tour. He did 33 songs without one on your pops. <laughs> yeah, about to, nah, I already did one, though, the last but, album. The oh, okay, intro, the intro right. of the last album was with him. Okay, you gave him the intro, yeah. just like play a little bit, yeah, then you yeah, kicked yeah, him out. Nah, 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 it was some legendary. No, 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 you tripping, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Say it. That's my that's my pop. Say bro. it. My my pops did the yo. He recorded the bass when I did the Spanish version to Bob Marley's "No Woman No Cry." Yo. And even like at the Bob Marley's family, people from Bob Marley's gave family, it to him. Even nah, they they played a few instruments too, if I'm not mistaken, and they worked together. That's Separate, wow. Separately, but my dad recorded in this studio there and that's so mm. once you united the stems, yeah. Did he ever wow. want to be an artist so as well? Like, like even nah, more nah, so? Nah, gotcha. nah, nah, he was always but he, he happy was more for business you. wise. Yeah, yeah. Nah, my dad was he was he was always trying to be in, in the mix in the mix with me in, 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 in the in the music industry in the game. It was just me. I took my my I took my whole path since I was a little kid. I, I, I left my, when he lost his job, I left my, my dad's house. That's how I started living the projects. And that's how one thing led that's to. That's when real life yeah, comes together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, and, and that's hard when you, get, when you get used to something and something's taken away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you start to really think about how you got to live and how you got to survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not a joke. And, and then when, when you fast forward, bro, and you do get caught up in a situation, right? Mm. Do you think like, and still the music business is moving fast then, do you feel like, man, I got to go sit down and I'm, I'm almost, I'm, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? I got, now I got to go sit down when, when things are rolling. Yeah, yeah, it was like, that was, it was like some movie. It was, like, that was like a movie for me. Like, I used to pray, to, I, I swear, I used to pray, I, was, I used to want it to be like, I used to pray to God, I used to like, make me the, like, I know these rappers don't live none of this. Make me the realest street rapper, please. Make me the realest street rapper in history, in Spanish history, please, please. I used to see Pac, like, I want to be Pac in Spanish. Like, I know I could be. I could save a lot of lives and stuff. And, and, and instead of, uh, of being the example that I had, like, I used to see the drug dealers. Well, sorry, talking about this. But it was my... It was my inspiration when I was little. Cause why? Cause they right. used to have better cars than that yeah. Yankee and Don Omar and all these rappers. And you see, and, and that was different. You see. And yeah, and that was different. Now you pull up in Puerto Rico. There's not even nah, 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 nah. Nobody got the cars the rapper rappers got. Nobody has the houses. Can't buy the house. They can't buy houses. All these rappers, artists be buying now. It's different. Times changed. It's really music, really saving lives in Puerto Rico. It's not even a joke. It's, if it mm. wasn't for music, I'd be in prison or dead. It's not even, 
Like, it's not even a movie. So when, be, this this is the type of things I be just saying. That's why I, my fan base in the streets is so big, because this is the type of things I, I, that I normally speak even in, in the middle of my concerts, you know? Like, I know I'm not the best example, you know? I'm not, right. But you you're know? the real example, though. But Exactly. But little by little, I, you know, I do, making the right decisions, little by little, I, I've, I've kept growing, you and know? And you got to hear from somebody yeah. that's been there, too. Yeah, like... You know what I'm saying? It's hard to tell I somebody. Rap, yeah, I rap for the streets, everything for the streets. I'll do anything for the streets. I want I want them to do better. I want them to be better. But I always put out, put it out there so they know that all the things I rap about is things I used to live back then, not, not things that I'm living now. It's right. things that I used to live back then and, 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 and I, things that I used to see they used to happen in the streets things that used to ha that be happening all around the world I just rap about the streets I'm just the voice I'm just the voice of the streets mm -hmm. like many voices that's out there like Dirk like like yeah. like like, uh, like a lot of people like NBA young boy like 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 a lot of people, like Lil Baby. A you lot are of really cut from like a hip hop cloth, mm. though. I'm telling you. Like you see, me, like, even the way I dress, everything is really different from all the Spanish artists because I'm really inspired by hip hop. Hey man, when you do have to go to, go to prison and things, and like I said, when things are put on hold, do you feel like? It, am I gonna have this when I come back? Like, cause you work so hard, then it's like ah. Shit. Yeah, it was something. It was something that little by little, at the beginning, I was like, nah, it's over with. Right. And yeah, a little by little, the inmates started to come in. More people were getting lucked up. Getting lucked up. They, they used to be like, yo, because I even stopped, like, I was, I got on my mind after the first week, they rejected the bells, they my bell. So I, I know I knew I, I got to do time. Yep. Okay. So I started all, all that. The detachments my, too. Yeah, all that, my mind in the streets and yep. me in here. Nah, all that shit got to go. Mm -hmm. That's out the window. So I literally started to isolate myself. I stopped, stopped calling outside all right. every day. Stopped all of this, all of that. And after a few months, <laughs> every prison, every new prisoner used to come in. It used to be like, "Yo, you, you lit. You going? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, wow. you got it on lock. You lit. This song came out. This song, song that I never put out. My manager and my dad and the, and my other like. It was a lot of people working at the same time. Uh, that it was. Nothing was even organized with some godly. Hey man, does that make blessing. it more antsy where you're like, man, I need to hurry up and get out of here now? Because yeah, it makes when, the time. Yeah, that's because when, at first you go and you detach. You're like, man. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. yeah. I remember I went to go see one of my partners one time and I was like, hey man, this, and he was like, bro, don't tell me nothing about the streets. Yeah, like I'm you know in what I'm saying. Here. But when you when you know well anybody when you have a situation, you yeah you get your head on that. Yeah, and you're like, man, there's nothing I can change about it, and this is what I got to do. Yeah. So when you do that detachment. It's like okay, let me let me try to get mm -hmm. through this, and then yeah, when things when, start coming through, and you start hearing about the streets, and it's like, man, it's going. I know you had yeah, to be like, you oh, got, yeah, you already oh. know the anxiety, everything. You just got to be really patient with it. Yeah, so you hit the ground and running. Faith, everything is faith. That that hoodie you got is legendary. Thank you, brother. And you every, know it's a trip, every, man. I, I I didn't wear this for the Unwell in interview. Can you imagine? <laughs> nah, but like Pac was my guy, bro. Yeah, I'm like and at yeah. one point I was a bodyguard. Before for, studying the game, I, I started studying the game and I ended up studying Pac. Yeah, man. Literally, and that's how I made it. Hey, man. And I had some of the most beautiful memories with Pac. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Like 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 not not Pac in studio, but like really like. Just chilling, like yeah, great gen conversations. Genuine, genuine, and genuine, yeah, man. Genuine and you know, and when Pac passed, everybody's like, oh man, Pac, Pac. But you knew that Pac was special when Pac was here from his conversations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then when it started to get a little like, oh, he started, you know, going off a little bit. I was like, man, like if, if Pac would have made it through that, oh man. We, yeah. The world would have saw something young, revolutionary. You, you see, you, if you don't know his age, you think he, nah, he at least 30 because he, the, the the knowledge he used to have yeah, it man. was, it was, it and, was on another level. But that he was, was a kid. Yes, that's the crazy thing about it. He was a kid. He didn't make. He didn't even made it to, th to yeah. thirty. Yeah, man. So it's crazy. And, and imagine, and that, just imagine if Pac wouldn't got killed. Yeah, just man. Imagine. But you know what's a trip though, man. That keeps the legendary status and the story. Yeah. Going. That's the and best. And that keep there's, people there's not gonna inspired. be a better story than that. Yeah, ever. that keep people inspired as well because now ever. as you're talking he about how my, he, Yeah, his story made my story. There it is. And your stories gonna make another one story. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, man. Why do you think so many people mess with you when it comes to either collaboration or working with you? You know, and, and I'm talking about not just people in our genre, but yeah, like like big dogs that that don't give out certain looks. Yeah, I think they just 
they just mess with me because of the way I am. I'm, I'm real, I'm real down to earth, bro. I be mm-hmm. walking with my feet on the, with my feet on the ground for real. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just real. I think it's really hard nowadays to find real, pe- real people and real, and, and especially in the streets and out there, and even in the, mu- especially in the music industry, it's really, it's really hard to look somebody in the eyes and say, no, this a man for real. Right, right, you right. You feel me? So. Hell yeah. So I, that's why you see me that I really I'm really close to certain people that you know they don't be around just anybody. Mm-hmm. I think it's because of that. That's the best answer I could give. How you. do you call or how do you get like if it's if it's Dirk Kodak Black? Like how do you how do you call? <laughs> like Dirk, how, look, how did this that is crazy. Look, look, I'm telling you, this is crazy. When Raw signed me, right? Yeah, Dirk. That's the that's just about that time Dirk used to be around. Fresh. All right, a lot. You remember, you remember that what song was the I think it was the Illuminati song was the song, the song Dirk used to drop, had drop or the, what the devil on my soul it was something like that old song old song the first song that Dirk really but it was I'm telling you old that Dirk didn't even have long right hair. right right he used to be with French I'm telling you he used to French used to help him a little bit. Or some something like they used to claim or and rap at the Coke Boys. Mm. Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. so they, the relationship. Yeah, early they, on. they used to have that relationship. Yeah. I mean. So I was with MMG, he was more with Coke Boys. So I used to, we didn't know, knew each other, but I used to see him. It was love because they was together. They, it was by the time they used to put out, pop that, pop that, pop that. Mm-hmm. Like, like, there was less, so you already know. You feel me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So after, when years go by, I, like, when years go by and I see Dirk, he made it and I made it too. And I'm like, yo, when I hit him up, he's like, yo, what's good? You remember this? And he was like, yo, what's good? Yeah, he remembered. And that's how we started, like, linked up straight up. How do Rick Damn. Ross find you or you find Rick Ross through you, now for <laughs> one there's a lot of people that want to get in the game yeah. and you were saying even at the at that time there were a lot of people that wasn't messing with you you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah how did Rick Ross find Unwed all of that happened because of my man's Piff TV mm. he he used to be Ross A&R MMG's A&R and I don't know he found me on Twitter and <laughs> on Twitter I used to drop songs this was more than 15 years ago. Like, yeah, like 15 years ago. And not knowing who's watching and looking. Yeah, I used to drop songs on SoundCloud back then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I used to drop, like, I used to record them myself. I used to upload them myself, boom, and drop them. And that's how they found me. And, and I remember, like, if it was yesterday, at the Spiff hit me up through Twitter. Yo, at the, you do them, you got more music, this and that, send, send us this and that. And how, about how old are you at that time? I'm like 16, Damn. 17. Yeah, I'm like, I was lying, no cap. I was like 17. Because mm-hmm. while I was, when Ross signed me, I, they flew me out like in three days. Boom, they flew me out. Boom, boom, boom. We started talking. And like, they signed me right away. Like, not even two months after it went by. And I got signed. That's when Meek was blowing up too with Dream Chases. With, with, with. I'm Damn. telling you, that's why I like all this. Insp- <laughs> like, you remember Meek when he came out for the first time? You still had a lot of shame, a lot of the Cuban links at the same time too. Mm. That's, that was one of my inspirations too. Like all of this was happening while they was like MM, it was MMG's best moment back then. It was like they had the streets on lock. So all of this happening, I used to see when they they fly me over. Like it was like a movie. Ross was Ross was the biggest. So I was I used to be like I, I used to pull up. Ross was right here. Yo, what's up? And right next to it was me. Yo, what's up? Then you feel me? Like for me, for this in the Spanish culture, you didn't even see the biggest Spanish artists right. with the hip hop biggest artists. So for me, I, nobody even knew me. Spiff, he flew me right away, and, and since the first day I was around all of them, like if it, it was nothing, they took me to Ross House in Miami, like like the big house he always oh, used to. Like that's got to be big, inspirational big, 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 yeah. too, though. Without me having nothing, I used to only my only north I used to have back then was the streets. Did you feel like you were on on though? You know, because it still takes some time. Not, nah, yeah. Not nah, I. I was like, nah, like right now, at the moment. I thought like, nah, I'm set. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, straight. yeah. Like right like, now, this is it. I'm th- yeah, this is it. <laughs> But little by little, you start seeing like, nah, this don't fall from the sky, not right. like that. You got to put in work. You feel me? And not because you next to Ross at his best moment or next to anybody at his best moment doesn't mean you're going to blow up. 
if you, if you don't put in work. And even if you put in work, you just you yeah. gotta find a way that you connect with the with the public, with the fans. You feel me? Yeah, there's absolutely no guarantees at all yeah. either. You yeah. know, and that's why it tripped me out when you yeah. was like, yeah, you know, kind of publicly for the last six years, and I'm like. Yeah, yeah. It goes, yeah, it go deep. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you, you know your thing. I ain't telling you nothing. Man, that's but why yeah, I told it goes you the public deeper. guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely goes deeper, man. And there's a lot of tuition into the school of experience yeah. that a lot of people don't see. And all of that was, and all of that happened with Ross and all of that. That's what perfect. Like, that's what because I didn't blew up being with them, but it didn't matter. It was it was what it had to happen back then. That right. was the best thing, choice I did was. Getting on that plane and flying to Miami and learning, and signing with them. Yeah, yeah even man. if I didn't want nothing from them, still I learned a lot. That's what. That's the best thing I could have. I could do back then. What does Ross say about you today? If you're, when I you're... talk with Ross now, like now, now, now and then, every week we be writing each other on, on Instagram. Like it's all love, it's all respect. If he needs something from me, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna be there. He know that. Like we don't be with each other like that. We don't have that type of relationship. But it's love. But he know it's love. Like how it ain't gonna be. How I'm gonna be now? Like acting like I'm all that. Man, I remember I met you at the uh, UFC, right? Yeah. And are you are you, you got a relationship with UFC? Yeah, but yeah. I got a. I, do I, you? I, it's, it, it's been a year having a partnership with them. Almost a year. Man, really? I know Dana. He ain't never gave me a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> you see the logo? I got the Real Hasta la Muerte logo, my company logo, in the octagon each fight too. Oh, snap. oh yeah. Okay, so you got a. See, I get free tickets sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ain't, I ain't never had no big boys neighborhood, you know, oh. in, the, in the octagon getting nah, blood nah, on it. Nah, it's been a blessing for real. They, they, they I never thought it was gonna get to that, to that, to Were that. Were you level. at the fight with Masvidal? Yeah, yeah, I walked him in hey, against Uzman. Yeah. It was like that legendary Uzman yeah, highlight. Man. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, I was, hey, man, I I was, was mad. Just... Yo, you don't even. That was hey, mad. Man. That's how I met Uzman too. I didn't even know knew Uzman back. That was super mad. You was I definitely to, going I, in like we about I, to whoop on this. No, ass. I, I used to I used to be talking. You already yeah. know and uh, uh, on the story. I used to my boy gonna knock you out, and after he knocked my boy out, yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is legendary. Hey man, after a month, after two months, months. Usman seen it. And he and he wrote me back like, "LOL." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hey man, it's my partner, man. <laughs> my partner too, he wrote man. me back, "LOL," and I, and I was like, "You funny." Hey, man. And I told him, "Yo," and I told him, "LOL." I told him, you, you want my respect some some type of way that night. Hey, I told him, and that's how I started my relationship with him. And I and like, now Usman means he's my that's my man. Too. Hey man, it's hard that's seeing dope. your homie lose though, huh? Yeah, oh. nah, it's hard. No, I'm telling that was you, tough. oh bro, man, you don't even imagine what. No, I, was, I know, was bro. Thinking like that. my partner is Fernando <laughs> Vargas, man, and I know a lot of boxers, but like Fernando Vargas is my dog. Yeah, yeah. we've known each other for years. You can see him lose, but like that type of like when loss, he fought he Trinidad, out, like it, ah. with Trinidad, it hurt my Tito. Yeah, Tito heart. was the, that man. he was. The man. Oh my God, man! Yeah, Tito it, it, had them. Yeah, he oh. had them hooks and them. Yeah, yeah, man. And and I remember when he knocked Fernando, and that's my guy. We have a lot of yeah, conversations Fernando, about. I guess he was, yeah. yeah, he was a that hurt, too. Dude, I didn't know how to watch my homie. Lose. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you wanna. You I, wanna like, start I didn't know Bob. Right yeah, away. I, but I wasn't jumping in there. <laughs> nah, of course not. Was, nah, of course not. Uzman would have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uzman would have finished me. If, if I would have jumped in there with Trinidad, <laughs> it would have been. Like, nah, nah, and nah, then he knocked nah, this black nah, motherfucker nah, out. Nah, <laughs> nah, the funny thing it was Uzman and next to him Francis and Gano. It was about. To, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. About to the Nigerians were in the house. You like, was about to send me to the to the to the to the to how you say that to the to the. Oh, they be saying to the dark realm. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, yeah. yeah. You would have yeah. been over there like, man. Yeah, and shout out to... Last Uzman. thing you would have saw was some Nigerians. Yeah, yeah. No <laughs> cap. No cap. And, like, and shout out to Usman and Francis Ngannou. After that, they 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 family right now. Yeah. I heard that. So yeah. do you do you still go to the fights? Yeah, yeah. Man, take I us go with to you all the since you yeah. all got a partnership. Yeah, I'm a, nah, I'm going to give you people, my word. People always ask me. I'm going to give stuff. you my word because nah, I, I see you over there. Nah, nah, not all of us. Just me. Just me. Just you. And I'm going to rep everybody. Yeah, and Jose, yeah, yeah. That's my dog. Make right it there. easy for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, yeah. 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 I mean, she it, just be there for make social it, media. Make it easy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we, you don't need to be coming in with everybody. <laughs> nah, but nah. Yo. That's the best. Uh, uh, shout out to UFC too, man. MMA is the best sport. In yeah. The world, did you man. ever did, did you uh, ever study any any martial arts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I started to train with yeah. with the with Ain't it Masvidal different? a little bit and went, and went with a few of his pe people for a few months. See, I don't like. I got injured and I stopped, but I, I got to start again. I don't like exercising, so that's too much for me. No, that's I'd, I'd rather just walk with the Yeah, killers. I can't be. Yeah. yeah, just, <laughs> yeah the, like, yeah. I walk in with Masvidal, I like, know we fucking everybody else. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just, imagine, I, I did this, like, over, like, 
I got hooked with the with the sport, and I was like, nah, I'm gonna start fighting too. I'm gonna start. Um, I can remember when it's been a while. You famous, you ain't got nothing to do. You ain't got, you like, what am I doing? Start now? picking up new hobbies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so man. I focused on that for a while, and yeah, that's the best sport, man. Just, just, it's and just good enough to keep somebody off of you even yeah, more. Yeah, even yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's a legend. Yeah. You even get, you can feel more, more sure of yourself when once you you know how to basketball used to be my like, like it, it is my favorite sport. I'm just right now I'm. Boom, I got the MMA too. But right now, basketball, I grew up playing basketball. It was everything for me. Like Kobe. Yeah, hey man, and that's been over my shoulder for years. I cried mm -hmm. the day it happened. Man, same, bro. I cried like that. was a good girl. brother for me too, man. That was a good brother for me too. Yeah. Believe that. Here we go. I'm telling you, basketball my, was my first love. Kobe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My last album, the the album cover is me. Remember I told you I did all the all the legends. I redid the the one of the le most legendary moments. I took the picture just as they did. The, That's the cover was Kobe. I even put it in the finger. You remember when he won the tree pit? Oh, yeah. Jeff yeah. Hamilton's jacket in the bathroom? Yes, bathroom? man, with the... Hell, yeah. That's the cover of my last album. The legends never died. I've double. seen that. It's, it's, his, it's him. I've seen that. Yeah, it's me holding the... Hey, man, like, how like, crazy is like, that? Like is that that meant it's that crazy. much to you, not knowing what was going to happen? You know what I'm saying? Like That's, that's real love that yeah. day. Not thinking like, man, I'm gonna do this for him after yeah. he passed. That's like, yeah, it's crazy. I already had the concept and everything. That's and dope. It happened. Bro. Like, that's yeah. dope. Rest in peace. Are you ready for the album? Are you ready for for everything yeah, to go again? It's, it's, the it's lit right now. Right now, the album I got a features. I'm focusing on all types of markets right yeah, now. I see, I got features with Dirk, with the baby, with with. With Kodak Black, mm -hmm. there's a lot of more features. English and then features David drop. Guetta's worldwide. Yeah, David Guetta too. He on the album. There's a, like the song I have with Kodak. He on a, he on a trap Spanish song that's is a mixture of, of, of hip hop with with it got a salsa sample. What does big, that do for not, his world? Yeah, it, it's not a, just a salsa sample. It's a big salsa sample from uh, Gilberto Santa Rosa. He's one of the biggest salsa artists like of all times, and. He yeah he approved it and we gotta he, we gotta sample the whole song. That's really like I always wanted to do because of my because my listening to side sauce and I was since I was little I like I didn't like it like that because I didn't, don't even like I don't like it like that. But I always wanted to do a mixture between right. my type of music with it. And you know how to bridge the, it, bro. It was the perfect moment. Like you 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 got the all the Spanish salsa instruments plus the bass and the drums like. And Kodak rapping Creole and Creole, half of the verses in Creole, he didn't even did the whole verse in English. Oh, y'all made a whole international, yeah, international yeah. for real. So, so, and I put Nyango, he's like the, uh, he's another OG in the Spanish community, so in the streets. So, just putting both of them together and, and yeah. If it you was got, like yeah. the original plan of the song, it was gonna be two with Quavo and Offset. Mm. And they go with Quavo and Takeoff. Wow. And, and rest in peace, Takeoff. And, yeah, when they was about to record, uh, it, all of that happened. Exactly. Damn. Yeah, rest in peace to take off. And and yeah, when yeah, and that's yeah. We just kept it. Yeah, we just gonna drop it like that. And yeah, and, and yeah, we we I sent a lot of prayers to Quavo and all the family officer too. Everybody. Yeah, and and, and, and when you see off, things like that happen family. too, bro, it makes you I wrote work him, harder too. Yeah, nah, I wrote him just the same day I seen him. I wrote nah. him and gave him his space right away. As soon as I'll see him, but I. I'll see him. You, you talking about with Quavo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happened, yeah. It, it's him. not about the yeah, music yeah, after nah, that. Nah, nah. I wrote him right away. I didn't even talk about none of that. I wrote him right away. Boom, and I gave him the space. Yeah. I heard right, that, yeah. man. So the album. I've been through that. So it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. That's not a joke, man. And so, so the albums here, thirty three of them. You yeah. ready to get back out there? Let's get it Do in. you trip off for of how much now the genre and how many, yeah. how much attention for me? Man, you know, this is it's getting lit, and especially at one it's point, a, there were so many people that carried it on their backs yeah, too. Yeah, it has, it has, it's at his ah, with, yeah, me with my English, like the Spanish trap music right now, it's at, at its best peak. Yeah, right man. Now. I just did a, I just, I, I was just singing like two days ago, three days ago, in front of more than I didn't even know the exact number, more than fifty thousand people. Especially that day, since I'm now just focusing on trap music. Especially that, God. especially that day, the whole show was just trap music, all the new records, and they were singing all the trap records like if they was the commercial songs, they got one billion, billion streams, eight 
100 million streams. You feel me? So I'm like, oh, hell nah. Now it's lit. Nobody like could stop this. Not yeah. now. And it's the, the mm-hmm. timing, yeah, man. Yeah, like the timing's been perfect. Like right now, and, and I'm getting so much love from the hip hop community and the English community. The time is perfect right now. Like all, all the English rappers been been showing love. Like everybody been following me and and and, and, and yeah. But you know what, man? It, we about to make it a a, 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 a same general one day. Spanish and English communities put into like yeah. We it's see gonna, that. We got. All those Grammy American, Grammy Latin, right? Grammy, that one day it's all gonna be one. one and we day. we see. we still gotta leave it like the Latin right. Grammy, yeah. 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 we Let gotta do out. something new, like yeah. And to get watch one day it's gonna be like that because right now the numbers don't lie. Like right now, you talk about the biggest artists in the world. You can't just talk about English, English artists anymore. Man. You got to mix us all and, up. And 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 growing English, up, English artists got legendary artists. The Spanish artists got legendary artists too right now. And so well, like, growing up, man, you saw what was penetrating in, in Puerto Rico. It was like a lot of hip hop, pop influence. You know what I'm saying? And now you see, now you see what's being influence around the world and when you start seeing like the bad bunnies of the world and it's yeah. not just about a genre or just this Mm-mm. chart it's like overall yeah like because we've seen english takeovers we've seen that in all kind of mm-hmm. countries i would go to other countries and i'd yeah, be like man course. they it's can't the even understand language it in the world yeah yeah, it's number yeah one language. and i would trip like they can't even understand it but they felt it and that's what you're really seeing that's what's now. happening with the spanish you, yeah, with you the spanish feeling it you're yeah. seeing it man like oh yeah. my god like, bro right now you just it's the best thing that could happen right now for hip hop, trap community, like the Spanish and the black, com- the Spanish yeah, and black community to come in together. Is the best thing that could happen for hip hop and for Spanish trap right now. Do you do you live in Puerto Rico? Nah, I got I got like I don't be, say you live out here, man. Cause I'm gonna be pissed off. Nah, I be, <laughs> okay. I be I be going in and out like the whole year. Like I be in Miami, I be in Puerto Rico, I be in Miami. Puerto, I can't work okay. from Puerto Rico and just. Do everything I do from Puerto Rico. Right, right. I gotta be more. I was just gonna say because if you're like, nah, right. big, I stay down the street. I was about to be like, oh man, nah. I'll pull up, you pull up to Puerto Rico with me one day. It's gonna be legend. Yeah, yeah. we got uh, Jose do. too. Yeah, ho- nah, Jose <laughs> gotta go for sure. Yeah, all right. How yeah. we gonna leave Jose? You <laughs> can't, can't leave Jose. His name got him there. No. So- <laughs> Man, all right, well, we down, right? <laughs> nah, it's, it's going to be really big. I think yeah. this album going to be really big in I the English it, community and uniting Spanish community and black community right now. is, I think it's the best thing we got to do right now. For man, so song. are you about to have a little princess too? Yeah, I'm about Ooh. to have How a little princess. How far along are you? Yeah, I'm five months. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, it's five bro. Months. It's my first baby. No, let me tell yeah, you, man, that's a girl, whole so. different world. Yeah. You have, how old is your son? My son is nine years old. Okay, and, and you, you know, love your boys too. Yeah, but it's, but, it's a whole nother vibe. <laughs> Even oh, just, man. As soon as they tell you the girl, it's, uh, everything Yeah, you go in a different mode. It's yeah. a whole, <laughs> hey, man, Unwell, this is no yeah. joke. I remember my daughter yeah. when she was born. My son was born first. About a year and some change later, we had our daughter, right? And I remember, you know how they take your kids and they go get, wash them up and get them ready, so on and so forth. So my wife is still sitting, still laying there. They went to go take Jade, my daughter, to go uh, get, you know, b- bathe and everything. So I walk over there. They're like, oh, you know, she's ready. You can go see her. And she's like an incubator with a little lamp on her. And when I walked in there, it was like two other babies that was born the same day, but they were boys. And they were laying there with no diaper on. Uh- and I'm like, oh, hey, hey, man, put some diapers on you. <laughs> like, like, I don't want my oh little my daughter God. to roll her head uh, over and see her uh, first dick at three, <laughs> three, three hours old. Oh, my God. You know no, what I'm no, saying? So, yeah, know. man, that's it's, real it's a talk. Different, yeah, you get into a different mode. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, I open doors and everything, man. Like, like when you hold your princess, it, it's a, it, you become everything. You become mm. protector. <laughs> you protect your kids anyway. Yeah, of but course. But this is that one where it's like, and plus, you've been... Been around, yeah, you know yeah. the bullshit. Yeah. You know the drag. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. So, oh yeah, sure, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's gonna oh, be. Yeah. It's gonna be. Just don't quit the business. Nah, okay, nah, all right. Nah. All right yeah. Don't, nah, don't quit nah. the business. Be like, nah. Hey. That's the best thing that could happen for me right now. I man. heard that. Yeah. Do your son know who you are? Not, yeah, of course. Not like, dad. I'm nah. talking about Anwar. Like, yeah, the, oh, okay, like, superstar. He knows. We all be always be going out like to private. Like, I I get the movies is private. I get this. Yeah. Yeah. All is private. Like, yeah. this is so he's like, oh. and Black Friday he was like, Dad, could you please take me to the mall? Like normally, like how everybody goes. Like, and I was like, you're oh, like, I guess God. I'll try. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you know it's gonna get, it's gonna get hectic. Yeah, but, but 
Let's go. He was like, but just one day. Hey, man, like, okay. isn't that world wow. crazy, though? Because you know, like when people say, oh, privilege, privilege, it's not a bad word. But no, you no. know that, man, it's, like, okay, when you if there's you, a reservation, I can get in. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? You I can a lot get. of things once you become famous. Like, a lot of things that human normal things that there's really like something you just need that you yeah man lose that i'm telling right you bro away. with the me, privacy you lose everything i'm the yeah. king of eating for free though yeah. oh bro <laughs> they be like big i got you i'm like all right I, I, i'm pulling it <laughs> yeah yeah like man come on by the restaurant okay yeah. and you probably don't know my <laughs> yeah yeah you probably don't know my past and well you know i was over 500 pounds at nah, one point I didn't know. yeah i was over 500 oh, pounds man so i still got that in me like yeah, some people like oh man come by and get a free hoodie i'd be like nah the restaurants? Nah, oh, I, I'm there, bro. I be, bro, I, I'm a, I get really skinny or I get fat. When, I'm I noticed in, in Vegas, like like when I seen you I'm today, never the, you've never lost been. weight since I seen you in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. Go ahead now. I'm, I'm a, a, I get a really fat or really skinny. I so. love what you call fat. This dude. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I weighed 500 pounds? 500. Bro, you weigh 500 pounds? 500. Nah, but I was under 200 and... and and thirty something. Hey man, like, I would have choked like the man to death. That bitch, two hundred thirty. I was been a skinny dude. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, cause he was big. Yeah, yeah he was big as hell. Like two thirty. I, I would have been like, dude. oh my. People would have been like, man, is he smoking? Yeah, <laughs> well, I appreciate you coming in, brother. Make That's sure you good. come back. That's good. That's all righty. And love. when you Thank see you me out in public love. again, man, let's say hello. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, ain't them, I ain't these rappers. That's that's the type of that. You remember why you asked me every why certain people that you don't see with everybody right right with me. That's why. Cause, yeah, yeah, real in the field. Yeah. The money don't don't make me. The money don't make nobody. We all we all human. The only thing we got is our word. Well, I'm gonna tell you, man. I get some money. I'm changing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm mean. changing, man. You gonna Even be like, though you get money, you can't you can't lose your word never in life. Yeah, that is true. Damn. Yeah. Stop coming Prolific. with messages. Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Stop coming with messages. Yeah. Good yeah. values. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So gotta, stop nah, being nah, real gotta, in here. Yeah, we gotta educate because there's a lot of fake. There's a lot of fake people in the music industry. Nah, man. And we got powerful voices too, bro. We got powerful voices. We gotta educate the youth, the streets. There it is, Unwell in the neighborhood, big boy neighborhood. 